I, I love Kevin's introductions because he always surprises me. Uh, first of all, he talks about my being bilingual as if I'm speaking to both turtles. I can speak turtle and I can speak swamp. Um, luckily, I'm bilingual and speak Spanish and English. In our, we have a hotel that's located down in Mexico on the beach in Mexico. And I imagine many of you are thinking, you know, what is hospitality, what does going on vacation have to do with social impact? And I really have to kind of take a 50,000 foot level first and say, you know, when you guys go on vacation, the money you spend is the number one source of foreign exchange for the developing countries of the world. You guys are making a huge impact and hospitality has a huge impact in, um, with what you do and what you spend. Uh, the second thing is, is jobs. The number one source of jobs in developing countries is farming, duh. The second largest one is education. One out of every, what, 30 kids, there's a teacher. The third largest one is hospitality. So just looking at it from that standpoint, hospitality has a huge impact on developing countries. On top of that, how do we do it in a way that's positive, that makes a positive impact? And that's what we look at. Can we go to the slides? Are they up there? Oh, they're up there. No, they're not, because I can see myself. <laughs> I can see the slides there. Here we go. I'm going to give you a little preview of uh, our session and, and touch on a couple of issues. Um, one is, as an entrepreneur, I want you to see the place that is Playa Viva. What we are is a eco-luxury resort, really touching a high-end market. We see ourselves as the whole foods of hospitality, or that's what we're going to grow into. Uh, somebody said when they saw my yellow badge that if I'm on the main stage, we must have made it. Um, I think it's the fact that we've been in business now for five years that makes us make it. But we've got 16 employees, which we're very proud to have employed that many people. And um, as Kevin mentioned, we have investment from a couple of different sources, one more conservation-oriented with the conservation work we do, another one, root capital, which is more people-oriented and the people-oriented work that we do. We're also GEARS certified. We went through that process, and they wouldn't give us five stars. No matter what we did, they wouldn't give us five stars. We got four stars, which we're proud of. But related to community, these are our guiding principles. This is what guided us through the entire design process and really guides us through how we operate, what we do day to day, and is really guiding our expansion going forward. And the last one you see on this list is promoting meaningful community. So what is meaningful community? What does that mean? We look at it from a couple of different ways. One is, you know, what is the social impact that we can create? And we've targeted three areas. One is education. Because if people get a better education, especially in our area, if they speak English, they get a better job. Second one is health. In Mexico, I think Mexico has just rated the most obese country in the world recently. So the Western diet has affected them. What can we do about reversing the effects of the Western diet and create a more healthy uh, society? And the other one is economic development. How can we create more jobs, not just on our own, but really serve as a gateway through all the guests that we bring in to open up opportunities for more economic development? And I can give you examples of that later. The other one is this little chart that shows these interlocking uh, uh, rings of there's the community of the guests that are there at that point and how we architect the place so that it creates community. There's the staff that's there in the community that they create and how they're separate from the community they come from, then the local community that they're part of, and how do we integrate guests into that local community and the staff, and how we break down barriers between those and how we operate. And then there's the virtual community of folks that want to go to Playa Viva but haven't been there yet, uh, and creating a whole community around that, and the interlocking cycles and circles that are created from that. I'm not going to do this. I'll wait until my presentation. Um, that's coming up, but I want to talk about a concept that Mark brought up in a conversation we had, this concept of cascading cycles of impact. And as I mentioned, um, you know, one of the things that we look at is uh, healthcare, we look at education, um, and we look at uh, economic development. Well, water, water is a big, big issue for us. 
and we're sitting at the base of this estuary and all the water flows through, but all the water that flows into this basin comes from the watershed. So we have a responsibility up that watershed to make sure that that water's clean. And how do we do that? Well, we look at what all the contaminants are that are going into that watershed, and one of the biggest ones is agricultural contaminants. So we want to work with farmers to help them find organic ways to farm. And so you can see we had this uh, class with hundreds of folks that showed up from the community, but one of the main feedbacks that came from them is, we got no market for this. So the next thing is, how do we create a market so we can begin to sell organic food? Because we're one of those markets, because our customers want to eat organic food. So here's an example where our goals and these cascading circles all interact around this big, big topic, which is water. And there's so many other issues like this. This is the kinds of things that we deal with as an in, uh, entrepreneur in hospitality to create social impact. Um, and this is more of what you'll hear about through the community and the community impact, um, uh, the framework that we're going to be uh, presenting at. Thank you.